what's wrong with it. Sorry. See? Yeah, you're right. I don't. That's a oh, weird thing. A anyway, weird well, you're screeching chairs. I was gonna say tires, but you're not screeching tires. Not tires this time. Kenny, what do you think about our new? Uh, we put up wall plant paneling. This is, what's that called? Wood paneling. It's a, faux wood. It's a faux wood paneling. I don't know if it's faux wood or it's some kind of plywood. It's beautiful. I love it. Paneling. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad the seventies happened. Yeah. No. Anyway, that's that's all I really care about. That's all I really care about. Anyway, yeah, do me a favor, put that on your table. Put what? That I think, I think it's causing some interference. Okay. Oh, I almost did it now. So uh, let's uh, let's get started. You want to do? Uh, you want to run some movie squat? Movie squat. Starting it up. Starting M- movie doing squat. it. Okay. All right. So, actually, I'll be right back. Where are you going? We'll see. Oh, great. So I guess I'll sit here with some filler. Some fi- some filler time. You guys want my filler time? Great. Oh, really? This is what we needed? This is what you needed. Everybody, Ken has gone and gotten a skull. You know, oh, you know what that means. Someone knows what that means. <coughs> That means we're doing some scary dare things. Oh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Part, part two. 2. Okay. This one with Dennis Hopper. This had Dennis Hopper in it? This had Dennis Hopper in it. Yeah, he, he played lefty. <laughs> lefty, lefty, huh? lefty. Lefty. All right, goes tell, ahead me, and tell me about Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. A so, Co- couple peeps. Uh huh. Sequel to the first. Obviously. Not the same dude playing Leatherface, but some other guy. Leatherface was in it, though. Yes. Okay. Yeah, with his whole family and all that. Okay. Yeah, we have his whole entire family. So we have um, a couple guys named Buzz and Rick in the beginning of the movie. Buzz and Rick. Got get it. killed by Leatherface. Yeah. All right. Buzz gets his head chopped off because they're in the back of the car. They're on, they're, listen, they're, okay. Let me set the stage. They're driving in a car. They're talking to a radio <clears throat> lady named Stretch. The Buzz, Leatherface ends up being in the car, kills. Buzz by cutting off part of his head, car crashes, kills Rick. Okay. Right. So now what happens is Lefty comes in, Dennis Hopper. And he's Lefty is what a, a a cop. He's a lieutenant. Interesting. Lefty and right, Dennis Hopper, former Texas Ranger. Oh. oh so baseball hey. players apparently are really good detectives. Yeah, well, okay, okay, sure. Yeah. We'll go with that. So. Years ago, his family was killed by Leatherface or something like that. Lefties? Yeah. Oh, so he's been searching for this guy for years. Yeah. Okay. So he's, he's finally got well, uh, this. What, what, he he yeah. listens to the tape. Lefty plays a tape for him and everything like that. And what, he goes what? to investigate the murders of these guys. Okay. What year? Sorry. Oh, what year was this bad boy? Yeah. This bad boy was 1986. So we're looking at a mid-40s Dennis Hopper? <laughs> at this yeah, point? Just about. Yeah? Yeah, just about. Early 40s, maybe? Early 40s. Okay. I just Would wanna... you like an exact age? No, I just want you to keep going with this because, yeah, let's just keep going. Why? You're going to get an exact age. He was born in 1936. And this is 86. So 50. Wow. Wait, what? Wow, okay. 50 years old, which is fine. In the 50s and the 80s. Too old to be a baseball player. Perfect age to be a lieutenant detective. Former Texas Ranger, yeah. Go ahead. Anyway, end of the movie. Uh... People, people die. Yeah, I imagine a lot right. of people die. Does Dennis Hopper is one of them. Oh, he does Lefty, die. Lefty dies okay. by a grenade. So the family wins again. No, the yeah. face wins again. Yeah. Stretch is still there, though, the um, the radio personality. Okay. She's, like, wielding the chainsaw at the end and everything like that. Oh, so she lives and becomes Leatherface's bride or something. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. There's no, a guy named Sh- Chop Top who attacks with the chainsaw and at the end of the movie and everything like that, but... Uh, that's the way this is. Okay. I'm not going to go too much into this. No, no, no you if don't you need like to. The, you if you like to. the Texas Chainsaw Massacres, you like the Chains- Chainsaw Massacres. Lefty right. is there, you know, helps solve the fun- crime. Little little thing for you is Tom Savini did the effects. Oh, okay. Special effects for yeah, it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Of uh, Friday 13th and Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead. That was his band. deal. Yeah, man. That was his deal. Oh, gosh. Great, great makeup artist. Yeah. He's still going, I think, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course he is, yeah. All right, you want mine? Yeah, sure. Okay. Feast your eyes. 
Say it. Every time. Just say it's it. It's Rick Schroeder and Brad Pitt starring in Across the Tracks. Yep. Is this tracks as in train tracks, or is this tracks as in track and field? I'm going to go ahead and tell you both. Both? All right. Wow. Here's a story of a lovely lady. Okay. Keep going. No. I couldn't think of the rest of the words of the I song. Don't, yeah. Uh, so Brad Pitt plays, plays a character named Joe. He has a brother named Billy. All right. Joe is an all-star track athlete at his high school. Mm-hmm. Okay. On track to winning a scholarship if they win the big meet or whatever. I'm tracking. Billy is a little bit younger, uh, also in high school. He just gets out. Beginning of the movie, he gets out of uh, uh, reform school because he's a little bit of a delinquent. Went into reform school. He tried to do a car theft, and he gets he gets out and gets sent to another high school. Now, Billy is trying to go on the straight and narrow. He's trying to become... Rick Schroeder's Billy. Uh, he's trying to become straight and narrow, and, you know, his, some of the old, his old gang members are trying to get him to go back to being a bad guy, you know, this and that. And he ends up... So his brother... Now, his brother and him don't get along, and, you know, but they're trying to, like, have a relationship, and he mentions... He says to him, listen, wh- why don't you try joining the track team? So, Billy... Says, okay, let me, can I try out for the track team? The coach at his school says, okay, sure, you can try out. He almost beats his brother's record at, I'm not even going to give you, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Thing is, they're both really good at running. Perfect. They can run away from a chainsaw. Hold on. Let me finish the story. Because you don't know where then the story's going to go. Oh, did they both die? Hold on. (laughs) Yes, they both died. They both go, They because they're in competing schools, they, they compete against each other in the big meet. Yeah. Billy, Rick Schroeder, is actually faster than his brother, Brad Pitt, who plays Joe, who's the all-star, ends up holding back at the, at the end of the race, at the very last race, and lets his brother win, become like the track star, and then get the scholarship and everything like that. But they bond throughout the whole rest of the movie because of the running and stuff, and, and you know... So, yeah, so that's basically it. So happy ending with that. They, you know, they, they're, they're brothers. They, you know, uh, Billy lets his older brother win and stuff, so... Uh, what I thought was cool about this movie was wherever we go, it can obviously be like a continuation or or wait, something. Wait, are they dead? No, they're not dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a joke. Gotcha. That was a, that was a goof I was on like, my wait, part. Wait, wait, that was a goof on my part. It was all, all part right. of the bit. So, you have two brothers. They're both really fast at running. What do they do? What do we do? Well, the, the obvious thing, they're going to run away from somebody with a chainsaw. They have to. Can we change it? Can it not be a chainsaw? Can it be a weed whacker? Can it? Can it be? It can absolutely. Well, hold on, be. hold on. Can yeah. it also be? What town are they from? <coughs> Sorry, it's a lot, doesn't it? Um, I don't. I don't actually know. I have to cough so badly right now. I'm very sorry if I if I end up doing it. I'm trying to hold it in. I don't. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There. <coughs> hey, can I give you a little tip? Look, I'm sorry. Cut it out. Just, just <coughs> time code, like 925. <coughs> just cut this whole thing out. <coughs> You're killing me. <coughs> dude, dust just got right in, right in there, dude. I was perfectly fine. You scoop it out? You're right. <coughs> I can scoop it out. Take a, take no, a I'm not s- touching that. That's gross. <laughs> There's spiders in there. <laughs> Just go for it. Stop. It's no. perfectly good. Stop. Liquid. Don't talk to me right now. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, All right, we're coming back in at ten. Okay. Here we go. Here's something for you. This might help out. His brother. So Joe gets his little brother Billy a nice pair of uh, trousers. Ra- no, racing shoes. Like oh, like running right. shoes. He usually he was using, he was running in a, a pair of um, high top chucks. So that's not, not good. They're not very good. As a special shoes. gift, he gets him a special pair of track shoes. So, just 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 throwing that out there. I now, can just imagine how fast he is with the track shoes. Yeah, well, as listen. Opposed to the chucks. Right. I mentioned a weed whacker, but what you know the the the, the hedge trimmers that have like the big teeth. It's that long thing. Yeah. It's just kind of like, like a chainsaw, but kind of like, like a chainsaw, like a weak a weak ass yeah. chainsaw. Yeah. What not are, one of those. Those are usually called? those are usually corded. I oh, want to yeah, say they're the usually chain- corded. Why can't he? <laughs> he, yes. Okay, so there you go. Limited. Chases him with 
there's a stipulation in murdering people. They, need, this, they need to be within the Who hedges. is this murdering him now? Who is this? Is it actually Leatherface, or is it like a... Can it be a copycat of Leatherface? Can it be like a knockoff Leatherface? Yeah, let's, let's do like Roy from Friday the 13th Part 5. Yeah. It's it's not Jason. It's somebody who wants to... It's somebody yeah. who's emulating yes. Leatherface. Yeah, somebody named like Carl. And can it just be... <laughs> it's Carl. Yes. Now, can Billy and Joe... It's years later. They're, you know, they're mid, he prob- the mid-30s now. Can they have like a how about, house together? How about... How about Billy decides, you know what, call me Bill or Will. I mean, Ricky Schroeder is, didn't, be... didn't, he is Rick Schroeder in this. Right. So, Bill. Will. We're going Will. Will? Oh, Will. God. Yeah. Okay. Joe and Will. Will and, and Joey. Call me Joseph. No, now he's going with the Joey. Oh, so he's Joey. He took it. Yeah. And he's Will. Yeah. Let me they ask never you a question. Same, Can I ask same... you a question? Yeah. Let me ask you this. Are we getting Brad Pitt and Rick Schroeder back? Or is it going to be that like the Dumb and Dumber prequel where you get two people that semi look like them and they're playing them no this is this, so this is going to be like the dukes of hazard get, Coy and vance it's going to be the cousins it's going to be their cousins oh <laughs> so two, one blonde one like dirty blonde okay so it's not billy no it's not will and just no, so it's yeah, going to be not going to be all right it's going to be like really you know, yeah wow we're just it's like jack and, and rudy. it's not jack leather and rudy. face so it's really jack and rudy jack and rudy jack rudy and carl that's it. Well, Carl's the... All right, yeah, so these Carl's two cousins, name. they live together. Can we have them live together? And their neighbor is Carl, and he tries to kill them all the time with a stupid Yeah, but they, you're never going to hit me. You're never going to get this far. And then, like, they, they egg him on and stuff, oh, and he can yeah, only get yeah. so far. So you can have you can have a scene... And then, then he discovers an extension cord. Yeah. Like a wreath. Oh, how about this? An extension cord wreath. Just wrap <laughs> everything wrapped around it. Need an extension all cord to take on his wreath. Wreath yeah. of cords. Um, what if what if at some point he discovers battery power, and he has a battery pack on him, and he uh, plugs how, it how into you, the battery pack, you, like a cameraman, a gas generator that he has to drag around with him, <laughs> like on wheels. That's yeah, really squeaky wheel yeah. is like barely moving and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. stuck in the mud. He got so somebody was watering the lawn yard. next door. Yeah, and he wasn't counting on that. The one of those little three prong sprinklers that just spin. Oh yeah, that, and like yeah. creep across the lawn. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Those yeah. things are amazing. So that's going to happen, and then he's going to go there, and he's going to be like pulling the generator and with one hand, mm-hmm. and he's got the hedge trimmer in the other. And I like it. Yeah. yeah he, he gets stuck in the mud, so it's like, oh, no, can he get away and all this stuff. Um, what about, can there be a scene like he uh, he's about to get Rudy, and so Ru- Rudy's up against the house, like the side of the house, and he goes at him with the with the head trimmer, and it just makes it, and it just right in his chest, and it just kind of like cuts a little. It gets caught in the chest hair. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Just, no blood. Didn't break it skin. Just pulls it out like a waxing. But he's, he's pushing it. He's like trying a very to, precise waxing. Yeah, it's like barely touching him, and it's just ah, you got my chest hair, Carl. What the hell? Yeah. What the what the heck, man? And he's just like all mad. And is, then is Carl wearing a mask? He's, can he be wearing like an 80s ho- children's Halloween He-Man mask or something? Where it's like you throw back to cutting your tongue open on that thing. His tongue is always oh, bleeding. Yeah. His tongue, <laughs> that's how they know it's him. Out. Like they couldn't tell it was a guy. Well, they didn't know who this guy was. Yeah. And then he shows up one time. He says, can I, can I borrow a stick of butter? Can I borrow a pat of butter? Can I borrow a pat of butter? And he comes to the thing and, it, <laughs> and they look at him and he's like, Carl, your tongue, your tongue, tongue is yeah, your, tongue's your tongue has a cut on it. Yeah, and he's sitting there, and he's like, oh, I'm and then it just cuts, <laughs> smash cuts to all, just the, the little tongue sticking out, the little tip of the tongue <laughs> sticking but he, but out. He's, but he's quick. Carl's quick to think about it, and he actually <laughs> thinks about it and says, either, you know, oh, I've been, I've been licking envelopes all day. Yeah, oh, my tongue like is birthday invitations. Yeah. She's, oh, almost got caught, and they're like, oh, that's believable. And then, day. and then Rudy, and what was the other guy's name? Jack. Rudy and Jack are like, wait a minute. Yeah. We didn't get an invitation. It's like, it's in, it's they in, talk it's about in the that mail. later on. They say, <laughs> isn't that weird <laughs> that he said he was sending out invitations all day and we didn't get one? Yeah. N- never mind the fact that it was that day. So, but look. Or, or if he says it like a couple days ago, yeah, this thing keeps coming open. Like, uh, last week I was sending out invitations and that's when they that's that's when they put it together and they right, say, hey, right, listen, right. this was, you said this was how long ago? You know, or they think about it after he leaves and says, like, get out of my house. And he kicks him down, like, the stoop. 
<laughs> two steps, of, yeah. the three steps of the, of the yeah, stoop, yeah. He, he kicks him down, and that's what starts to really agitate him. Okay. Um, agitate Carl. That's where he comes back and gets revenge and everything like that because he kicks him down, and, and Jack's like, what are you doing, Rudy? And he comes in, and they're talking, and he's like, listen, don't you think it's a little strange that he, he was licking envelopes last week, and we never got an invite? We've known him for three years. Yeah, yeah exactly. We've known him for like, so long. He was our landlord. Yeah. For like one of those years. <laughs> Until he sold the place. Yeah. Hold on. This is a dark comedy, right? Like, so, like, Carl's killing neighbors, right? And, like, at one point, it's whoa, a Saturday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Comedy. Dark comedy. This it's a horror comedy. This isn't funny. Well, hold on, because, like, what about, like, this when... Is, this is... This is... No, no, hold on now. Serious, hold on. man. It's fine. Listen, I leave don't Carl this out. Alone. I don't break this out for comedy. Because he's, he's, he's out... And, you know, they have one of those yards where it's just separated by Carl's hedges. And Carl is using the, the hedge trimmers. And Jack walks by. He's like, hey, Carl, what's going on? Oh, what? You got, what is that? What is it? Ke- what you got ketchup? What is that? What's on there? And he's got blood on the thing. He didn't clean it enough. And he's like, oh, no. Yeah, no, that's, uh, I was, um, yeah, the, 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 there's the, paint the, in the garage the, fell the, on it. The, yeah, my the, dang the, cat. The, you know, and yeah, but, Hold then, on. but that's the thing. He, said, he didn't have a cat. No, but Rudy says that. Who says that? He Jack. says that to Rudy, to no, Jack? Jack was asking him. But then why Rudy says running? it later on. He says it to Rudy, and he says, oh, I was cutting up the uh, cherry tree. I, I was going to, I was going to, yeah. And he, was, say, he, he told you what? Yeah. He told you and He told paint. me it was paint he told from his me cat that he doesn't have. It was a cherry tree. Yeah. It was cherry juice. Yeah. Yeah, you know, oh, that's, all, that's what I'm caught. saying. That's why to me it's like, it's like a, he's getting caught. it's like a comedy almost, like a dark Stop. comedy, hey, man. Chris. You know? <laughs> All right, sorry, Carl. It's not a comedy. All right, we got it. What's it called? What's this thing called? Uh, where, 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 where does that take place? I don't know. It's nowhere. It doesn't know. It's nowhere. What's it, what's your movie called? Across the tracks. Oh god. Don't write it down now. Let's just move forward. Let's just get the title of this one. I am Texas I'm, I'm Chainsaw. To I, need to, oh. I need to visualize the titles together. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Can we call it Spring? How about we call it Spring? I feel like it's like Springfield. Can we call it Springfield? Where do they take place? I, it? I don't know. Can you tell me where that takes place, please? It doesn't. Well, that's going to help because then... If I, know, have, I know like, where you're going. I know what you're Louisiana getting at, but I don't... The Louisiana Trimmer Massacre. I don't have a... I just... It's a, I don't have an, a, an answer for you, bro. It's got to be on there. He, he wants to get a scholarship to Stanford. Connecticut? Why would you want it? That's like saying... I Is that Connecticut? To, it's... I'm just, I'm asking, is that Connecticut? Because then that's, yes, then that's Connecticut. Cross the tracks. That's it. I don't, that's, it's all, it's the only information I have here to go on. Where do they live? Where does it take place? I just told you. I just told I need you. A, I need a final answer. Uh, Connecticut. Okay, so this is going to be the Connecticut hedge trimmer conundrum. Wait, wait, hold on. Hedge clipper? Massacre. What's a what's a lighter version of massacre? Conundrum. No, that's a that's that's a little different than a massacre. Accident. Oh, come on, we can we can do better than this. Massacre. Uh, incident. Incident. The Connecticut hedge trimmer incident. Or hedge clipper. Which one's better? Oh, hedge clipper. Like no. Hedge clipper? Uh, see, I, clipper. I think are the big scissors. Oh then. yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Hedge, hedge trimmer, trimmer is that. Is that yeah? If I if so, if I, you're gonna say that if I do a Google search for hedge trimmer, that that's gonna come up. I'm 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 hoping hedge trimmer. I mean, we can we can both look at this at the same time and see what comes up. You know. Yeah, we can try it. So all right, so the Connecticut. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, Connecticut hedge. What do we got? Hedge trimmer. Yeah, hedge hedge trimmer. Incident. Incident. <laughs> and that's it. At the end of the movie, it's going to be like, ah, ah, ah. He gets it and everything like that. <laughs> yeah, but the cord. The, the cord pops out at the end of the movie. But after the credits, you're going to see it. And then, like, like, oh, gosh, it's going to be, I guess it'll be Jack and Rudy, both of them. They get it? They get it. But they it's going it. to come out at the end, and it's just going to be like, Barely, in, like nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, ow. Like, ow. You know, I need ah. a band aid. And that's it because it's yeah, like, it's, it's not red. a big deal. It's really so, red. But it's still serious. Serious so, red. Anyway. Good. All right. Good. I like H- it. Hook me up with some tube squat. All right, tube. Tube squat. All right, there we go. 
So okay. what am I going first? You are going first. <clears throat> oh my yeah, I totally forgot about this. This is great. This is gonna this be is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Okay, you ready? Yep. All right, feast your eyes. O'Hara. Ooh, Pat Morita. Yep. I remember when that used to come on all the time on TV. Yeah, I mean, I vaguely remember this. So, uh, Pat Morita plays Lieutenant O'Hara, who is a Japanese American um, lieutenant. He's a he's Amer he's American police lieutenant, and he. The, what's different about him is he uses. Did he know Lefty? Uh, where is he, he a lieutenant? In? He might have. He might have. He might have. Where is he a lieutenant? That is a good question. L.A. I'm pretty sure it's L.A. Um. This was co-created by Pat Morita, by the way, mm -hmm. and he plays in in the uh, title role. It went from January eighty seven to May eighty eight, mm -hmm. so you know they had some some episodes in there. Eighty seven uh, to eighty eight. Eighty seven to eighty eight. Yeah, that was it. January seventeenth, eighty seven. Came on like to, every night. Well, I mean, it might have, you know. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. So here's the thing: we got a bunch partner. Of, was no, he no let me let, let, let me talk and let me get through this, okay? He uses spirituality and meditation uh, to like solve crimes. That sounds good. Okay, so what I have... A, no, 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 no. Okay? You wasted a lot of time interrupting me when I could have been done already. But now I'm taking longer because you interrupted. So your, your television show will wait now because I'm not done explaining this. You know who Kevin Conroy is? He does a... Yeah, why is he in there? He's a voice of Batman, animated series. Okay. Some say, some say, including myself, no, that the definitive not, voice stop. of Batman it doesn't matter because it's a cartoon. Okay. Keep going. Oh Jesus! Anyway, he's in this. He plays Lieutenant Lloyd Hamilton. Michael Keaton is the voice of Batman. Captain, please, Captain Lloyd Hamilton. He plays. Um, but here's what happened. His his partner is uh, Robert uh, Clohessy as Lieutenant George Shaver, right? Here's here's what happened to the series though. Are you listening? Yeah. Initially, he didn't use a gun. He used some martial arts, and he used spirituality and stuff to solve crime. It didn't do well, mm -hmm. so they changed it. Did a format change where they gave him a partner, and he started using a gun. Later on, they changed it again, where they made him, they made him and his partner detect a uh, private eyes instead of like on Man, the police. They just wanted this and to then succeed. it got canceled. And it got they canceled. They wanted it to succeed. Um, little fun fact for you. Yeah, the the next the next iteration was they were going to be fry cooks. Yeah. In a pop up restaurant. Right. Exactly, but it got, it got fired. But here, here's a little, a little tidbit. They had a bunch of guest stars on there. Most notable was Brandon Lee in oh. his only television role ever. It's the only time he was on television. Well, that can't be true because I do believe he was in Kung Fu. Well, okay. Besides, well, yes, but this, well, he played a villain in this. This okay. was, it, I mean, I mean, really, yes. He he played the evil son of a of a yakuza godfather. Um, you know, he was, but he was in Kung Fu the movie though. Oh, was it Kung Fu the movie? It was Kung Fu the movie. Not the TV show. Not the TV show. It was Kung Fu the movie where he played, where he was, he wasn't evil per se, but he was possessed by an evil spirit, making him do things. But in this one, he plays the evil son of a, a Yakuza boss. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, man, that's basically it. That's that's basically, it. yeah, so he solves crimes and he, you know, I, I whatever we do, I'd like to stay true to the original version of O'Hara where he doesn't really use it he doesn't use a gun he uses some martial arts and he doesn't have a partner okay. I'd like to use that if we could now what do you have okay the, the, I can't find anything that has like the title with a picture so I'm going to show you a picture that's first that's fine that's fine Is, you recognize anybody in there oh yeah oh dang it I recognize that dude I read all of it yeah but I don't know the name of that what is that you recognize all of them I, I well, recognize. You just recognize him. him. I recognize him, and I and I recognize the old man. Now I recognize it. Oh, 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 that's Bo Duke. No, Luke Duke. Luke Duke. Sorry, Tom Wopat. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We got something called Blue Skies. Blue Skies. Very simple. This, you're you're gonna love me after this because this is gonna be the quickest time I've ever talked about something. Quickest amount of time. He's a divorced ad executive who moves to Oregon with his wife. But right. all the kids come in then. Oh, he, family too. He's, he's a, they call it a blended family. A lot of issues, right? Because he has kids, she has kids. They get together and a lot of infighting and all that stuff. Anyway, they're, they're running a sawmill. That's what they do. They move to Oregon to run what, a sawmill. You? This one is 1988. Ran to 1988. No, the, yeah. From 1988 to 1988. January to May of 1988. It is a, an eight-episode 
run. <laughs> All right. I knew it. All right. Uh, it ran from June to August, if you want to know. Oh, my goodness gracious. So there you go. You're wrong. Sawmills were not big in 88. So, All right. If you notice the, the premise, that's the It's a one-line one. premise. It's, it's literally, that's it. Okay. So here's what's happening. What what was he what was he before? It's, uh, you don't know. You've no there's, idea. There's honestly nothing really. What's it called again? Blue skies. It's Tom Wopat. Uh, Season Hubley is his wife. How about this? Can we make Tom Wopat have worked with Lieutenant O'Hara previously, and now, and something is going down in Oregon? He's he, now some, and he so he calls upon Lieutenant O'Hara to come and help him. Why would he call somebody from California? Because he was from California, and he was a friend of his. Like, let's just say Tom Wopat's character was in the, you know, they were in the, let's just say they were like in the military together. They were in the military together, and he calls on Lieutenant O'Hara to come help him out in Oregon, solve some, some crime. There's a gang or something going on. Like, there's like the mafia, like the mafia, the Oregon mafioso or something. And it will run for uh, nine episodes. This, this follow up yeah. season, yeah. They finally found the recipe for success yeah. with O'Hara, yeah. And this one's and called adding Frank Cobb to the mix. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is gonna be called Blue Skies for Lieutenant O'Hara. It's like almost like somebody was at a barbecue and they're eating like French fries and corn on the cob, and they're just like, "Oh, this Frank is so good." And somebody said, "No, this Cobb no, is so Cobb good." Is and he goes, better. "I have an idea for a TV show." <laughs> Oh God! What do you think, Blue Lum- Skies? Lumber, you say? Producing <laughs> lumber? Get those, get those sticks into that um, fire pit. Oh, this That's is going to be the sounds like a longest. recipe for seven episodes, <laughs> and they, and got, they and made they squeezed eight, eight out of it, and them. we're going to squeeze nine out of this. All right, Blue Skies for right, Lieutenant O'Hara. Yeah, that what? Blue Skies for Lieutenant O'Hara. Come on, man, just what do you got? Okay, That's come on, fine. what do you got? I have nothing, and That's I really I don't. Right. I really don't care. Is it O apostrophe Hara? Like he's Irish? No, it's just O'Hara. Oh, sure. Wait, sorry. No, yeah, O'ha- yeah, O'Hara. 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 I guess it'd be yeah. O H A R A. So he's not it. Irish. No, he's Japanese. Can't man. Okay. Are we gonna spell skies I E S or Y apostrophe? No. I E S. <laughs> it's blue skies for Lieutenant L T dot O'Hara. L T. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. O'Hara. Okay. Yay, we did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what are we uh, do? Toon squat. All right. Toon squat. Toon squatting, man. Toon squat. Coming right up. All right. So here's the thing. Captain and the Game Master was a thing. <clears throat> and it was an awesome thing. It was a thing. We had that thing. The worst video game company ever. Who is it? Jaleco Acclaim. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. John wasn't bad. They made baseball stars. No, yeah, baseball, they, did no make, they made bases loaded. They Sorry. did make bases. I like baseball stars baseball, better. Baseball stars was awesome. Yeah. Baseball stars was fantastic. Anyway, Acclaim, Acclaim thought they could do some some good. The power team? Yes. Okay. Now, there was a basketball game called Arch Rivals. That's this dude. Okay. And then there was the guy from NARC. There was the little tomato dude, Quirk. In the background, oh was a puzzle game. my Remember god, that? that's who's right. This, who's that? Is that supposed to be He Man? No, it's not He Man. That's the the guy from Wizards and Warriors. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, I remember that. What do you think about that? <coughs> it puts dust in my throat. That's what I think about that. Oh gosh. Anyway, Kuros was the, the the wizard's name. That was him. But he had like a suit of armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the game. It's like, I don't understand why they have to mess with things like that. Well, Do they so, really so, need to give the guy a loincloth? Why are you putting a dude playing basketball? He's not okay. anything. Well, it's be, well, they owned it. And this is the thing. is Acclaim didn't really develop games. They published They published them. games, right. Yeah, so, so they, they thought they, they could really publish a cartoon too? So that's what they did. It even says in here. Oh, they don't Acclaim create? never actually yeah. created these games, but merely published the home console versions. That's all they did. Yeah. Now... That doesn't mean you know what you're doing. Before you get confused, and before I continue on this, this is not going to be confused with Power Team. You can go ahead and check that website. Go ahead. This is not going to be confused with Power Team. Todd who are Keen Chris- and the Power Team. A Christian Evangelical Martial Arts Team. Oh. Okay. Dang. So- <laughs> they are up to Revision 2.0. They are. Yeah. 
Todd Keene. Not they to go, be not to be confused with Commander Keene. They go across the United States. They do good things. They oh, really yeah, do. Well, yeah. they, they help churches, businesses, like schools, are. and they put on like uh, oh, shows. Oh, that's great. Yeah, they put on shows of of force. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So yeah, it's, it's a tour de force. All right, team, as seen on all these channels. But what do they do though? Hold on. Just discovered this, as seen on. Let's check this out for a second. ABC, Fox, CNN, ESPN. Wait, this is the... P- As seen on, right? ESPN, America's... And on Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> wow. You have made it when you've been on Ripley's and Walker, Texas But hold on. Ranger. It's like I kind of see this website. Oh and I'm like, God. all right. You guys are doing things now? Oh, you were on ABC. When? Two weeks ago? Last yeah, year? One time. Fox, when? One time. Walker, Texas Ranger was canceled, what, like 15 years ago? So, oh, but don't forget, that was probably 1.0. That was the 1.0 version. Oh, you think that, that was 1.0? Yeah. Okay. 2.0. Well, yeah, that, and I want 2.0 also Walker. Like, yeah. So, that's anyway. not going to happen. Okay. All right, so here's, here's the deal with the game. You ready for it? I don't know why I keep picking the up the game. The game? It's a video. This is, sorry, this is, this, is a, this is a cartoon. Yeah, I'm getting I'm confused. Hey, man. All right. So, this was along with, uh, it ran along with like this, this show called Video Power, which was like a video game review Yeah, I remember that, show. yes. Yeah. Uh, so you got Kuros, you have Max Force from NARC. His name is Max Force. That's awesome. Quirk, Tyrone from Arch Rivals. Uh, Bigfoot, he's a living monster truck. Yeah. Yeah, you had him on there too. Yeah, yeah. What they need to do is they need to recover game packs to go home. There's a bad guy named Mr. Big. Yeah, and okay. And they're supposed to get game packs to go yes. home. Now, Mr. Big can also send them home, but you don't want that because if they got sent home to their home world, like Kuros goes to the Wizard's World's World, all, right, all that right, stuff. Right, right, right. They, uh, Mr. Big would be left to run amok. Right, and, so and they need things. to be there to keep Yeah, so you don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, the main character, who you rarely see interact with the actual... Well, he's never, he never kind of like hung out with the characters the group, from the games. Yeah. His name was Johnny Arcade. Yeah, okay. And he sat in his bedroom and he kind of like talked to them. I remember. Yes. He talked to them from his room. Yes. Yeah. I do remember that. Yep. Absolutely. So, and then another thing, it just, it re-ran on USA as a Claim Masters. Like they they, oh, they, they put it, it out yeah, as, okay. on a different channel and, and rebranded it and they rebranded it as a clean masters. Okay, you ready for mine now? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's go. Oh gosh, the GoBots. Mm-hmm. Read the whole. No, read uh, the whole thing. It says yeah. challenge of the GoBots. That was the original miniseries, but the actual show was just I do believe the GoBots, wasn't it? Or was it no, this is the, the show. This is the show. Challenge of the That's Go-Bots. actually what they call this it. This is the show, yeah. Huh. Because on the title cards, it said Challenge of the GoBots. Okay. Now, I could show you some video. I'm not going to. But I will say this. I'll tell you about the show in one second. But I I was like, do I remember this? I, I mean, obviously, I remember the GoBots. I had oh, the toys. Gosh. I used to watch them every morning. But wait, then I'm like, oh, heck yeah, I remember this. Yeah. Absolutely do I remember this. So let me give you, let me give you, but there were some things I didn't know about this. Like, I didn't know. So, like Scooter. Rock Lords. Who, who voiced Scooter? Frank Walker? Yes. Get out of town. Boom! Get out of here. Yep. Uh, that, was, that was in my Knock, notable voices section on our sheet of paper here. Why? Well, this, I don't know. Can you give me time? Oh, uh, you got 34. You had 34 sec. Do 3410. You'll be fine. Uh, all right. So, um, okay. So, uh, put out by Hanna-Barbera. All right. Mm-hmm. This was a Tonka toy line. As opposed to Transformers, you know, had being a Hasbro toy. Again, the show was just a sh- the shit to sell the toys. That, but that's everything. That's, that's everything. He-Man, everything that's Voltron, was, yeah. that's everything. Which seems so backwards to me, but whatever. Anyway, so, okay. <laughs> they come from a planet. I believe it's called Gobatron. Yeah, Gobatron, I know okay? that. Here, here's the thing about the Gobots. I didn't realize that they were actual beings, they were beings, and their planet ends up getting destroyed. Mm-hmm. Becomes like a well, there's like a holo, like a like a uh, um, not holocaust, a uh, apocalypse. Okay. Yeah, and one of the doctors of the race decide figures out how to put them into robots. So oh wow, all right. That's the explanation for the GoBots that they're actually like beings. And the reason why there's female GoBots and male GoBots is because they had genders, their species had gender before they were put into robots. So that's why some of them have kind of a female form or female faces and stuff, right? Okay, so GoBots, you have Guardians and the Renegades. Mm-hmm. GoBots are uh, led by Leader One, yep. who is a jet. And then uh, his, then you have Turbo, Smallfoot, and Scooter, 
as previously mentioned, voiced by Welker. Uh, and then you had the Renegades with Psykill, which was that motorcycle. You had uh, Fitor, Captor, and Crasher. These were the main players. These were the main, you know, the right. pairs or whatever. And then there were also rotating stock of other of other ones. These are the main ones. Uh, what they do? They shot lasers out of their fists. They could fly. <laughs> they could transform. Mm -hmm. Okay. They they shot lasers because they didn't want anyone to like like really get hurt or killed or anything. So they always they shot lasers. Lasers. Um, and yeah, and Sidekill was always just trying to like take over. He wanted to take over uh, Gobitron and also Earth, and just just wanted to conquer everything, right? Yeah. Uh, so here's a little tidbit. Here's some here's some interesting things. They never, good or bad guys, never had any identifying insignias, like the Autobots or the yeah Decepticons. yeah I remember, okay. Yeah. But also there wasn't any there wasn't any distinctive form in any of the factions, meaning there wasn't any common form other than maybe if it was like a creature looking thing or evil looking, it was a it was a renegade. But like there wasn't like if it was a car and a car, you wouldn't be able to tell which was which really unless you knew. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So they didn't differentiate them in any way other than like I mentioned. And that's it. So that's that's GoBots. Okay. So what did you have again? Oh you had the master the power team. Power team. And the GoBots. Yeah. How how about? I'm feeling, man. I'm feeling like we just we it versus a versus situation. Okay, no, I'm feeling a team up situation. The power team plus uh, the guardians. Okay. Versus they they came out the rock lords, which were. I guess extra GoBots or something like that. There was like yeah. a movie and everything yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Um, I think that maybe there could be another team. Like maybe we could take these like Kuros and Tyrone and everybody and throw them inside other GoBots. What do you think? So whatever. That's only twice though. Wasn't twice it? Twice what? You know what I'm saying. I I what I've counted so far is six. Are you serious? Yeah, and like three of them were in the last two minutes. Get the heck out of here! I'm not kidding. Really? Yeah. I thought I was doing so well. Nope. Wow. Yeah. I'll tell you, man. Well, that's what that's the thing. Yeah. yeah anyway, uh, we all have our things. We're trying. Okay, so they need their help, but they're gonna put them inside. Do they get hurt? Maybe. No, 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 gonna... I, no, I'm not saying anything about them being hurt or, <coughs> or not hurt or anything. You can always do this, too. Um, what if, like, we need, we need another type of team. Instead of, okay, we have vehicles, we have rocks. <laughs> okay. We need something else. Birds. Garden tools. What's a, well vehicles is a is a very big like category, right? So uh, okay, the GoBots. Let's get the GoBots into this world that the um, that these game characters are in. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Right. I, look, look. You could you, look. For, we, now, here, listen, Mr. Big. There's Mr. Big. Okay, but there's Psycho, also... Psykill meets Mr. Big. There's also Rowdy Roddy Radish oh from my Quirk. Oh, God, yeah, that's right. There's also... What a nightmare. A Malkill from Wizards and Warriors. Oh. Right? You have all these bad guys. So how about it can rotate with uh, along with them, then they can team up with, like, Crasher and Psykill. Yeah, just bad guys team up with the bad guys. How about how about the renegades end up going first, and they're like, "Well, we can't fight these robot things." Mister Big's got got his pin, you know, he's got wait, a number wait, now. The renegades are the bad guys. Yes, team up with Mister Big, and then like the the, the power. So they're gonna team. hang out with Mister Big. Yeah, we both want the same thing. Let's do bad things. And then I want bad things to happen to bad other to good people because I'm upset about my lot in life, so I have to hurt other people. You know how it is. All right, so then Kuros can come in and talk to Tyrone and say, "Hey, listen, where these robots come from? They must have, they must have other ones." Bigfoot says, "And then ones Bigfoot, that we can help Bigfoot, out. Bigfoot steps in and goes, "Guys, guys, I think I know something." He that can transforms. Help us. 
He, he it turns, turns out, out there's a whole race of turns meat, out baby. Turns out he's a gobot. Yeah. No one no, ever no. knew, and they're like, right. whoa, 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 what? You know? Yeah, no, that happens. That's not, that's not gonna that was a good. That was a good cartoon thing. Come on, man. No credit whatsoever. Whatever, man. So you know what I'm saying? Sounds good. Okay. And he gets and he and he contacts later one. Sounds good. You gotta come here. You gotta help. I'm it, good. Is it interdimensional though? It's interdimensional. Interdimensional. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Intergalactic, planetary. We're good. All this right. This is it. We're what do good. we call it though? So you just have one right there. Um, what are we gonna call this? We're gonna call this. Hmm. Well, this isn't so much challenge of the GoBots. It's a challenge of the power team, really. I mean, if you, yeah, if you really want to, it really, if you really want to split team, hairs. Like, if you want, if you were creating a cartoon or a TV show, the the, pa- the power team. Yes. If you want, if you were gonna rec- like create a cartoon, like why would you? Why would you go there and just be like, you know, a power team sounds great. Right. I don't. Yeah. That's it. it tells me nothing. It's it's so generic. That's what it was back then, man. You know, they just, uh, they don't really care. Uh, uh, GoBots, more like no bots. Yeah, challenge of the GoBots, how about, um, Power Team, Power Bots. It's Power Bots, Power Team. I think we need GoBots in there. I hate the power team. I hate that. I, hate that. I do hate that name. How yeah, about... We're going to call this GoBots 2. GoBots 2? Yeah, 2.0? No. no. We're going to call this the... Not the challenge of the GoBots, but the... GoBots team. Team Team GoBots. Team GoBots? Team GoBots. I don't know if I like that. Of course you don't like it. It's not good, but that's not the, the cake, point. The cakewalk of the GoBots. No, you're not. No, really? we're not. No, I we're thought, not. I thought we're you not. were. I thought you were all on board for no, that. I thought you were going to jump right in. The cakewalk of the go because it's not necessary. Because where where are you coming? What do you do? What do you? But how? Why? It's not because it's not a challenge. Yeah, it's a new. They got Mister Big now, and it's like, of course it's a challenge. A new cha- The new challenge of the GoBots. You got to stop the yawning, man. You gotta you gotta mute your mic or something if you're gonna yawn you like that. It says says the coffer <laughs> and the lip smacker. Whatever, bro. I'm just saying. You know? Come on, the new challenge of the GoBots. How about, how about the new GoBots? How about the GoBots new groove? <laughs> the new GoBots uh, sold. Really? Sold. Wow. So you can at least raise a improved on there or something and like you, that. And you know, you know GoBots is G-O capital G capital B. I'm not an idiot. I used to watch this. There Doesn't was a time mean you remember. Thought, there was a time that I thought this was better than Transformers. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> ten-year-old me was a jerk. Yeah, ten-year-old you was such an idiot. All right, who's up, me? Yeah, come on. Game yeah, squat right. time. All right, game squat. Let me give it to you, brah. Oh, Deadly Towers. Yeah, right. One of those games that the box art looked so good, and then you actually see the game. Not that it, not that it's a bad game by any means, right? Not That's that it's a game. bad game. Do you want, want to see video? It was very difficult. I know, I know that. No. Okay, so I, let me, me. I know about Deadly Towers. Okay, well let me let me explain what Deadly Towers for, for any ridiculous puzzles. Yeah, anyone yeah. that doesn't listen, it was a, it's a side scrolling pu- puzzle. Uh, what puzzle crawler? Side scrolling dungeon crawler. Is that one on purpose? No, that was on purpose. Side scrolling dungeon crawler where you could move all well, around little, the little screen. Little isometrically. Little, little. No, but it, was side, it only went side scrolling unless I when thought you he were. went up and down into the screen as well. Yeah, but the screen only moved side to side. Oh, but, I, I get. I, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But it's like Double Dragon where you can go in and go in and out. Exactly. Right? Yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. Exactly. But it was a one point perspective. The screen scrolls right. sideways only except in Bell Towers where the screen scrolls vertically. Yes. Yeah. So as you walk, you walked up Gosh, through. Yeah. Yep. So the point is, is that you're Prince Myers, and you were tasked with um, defeating Rubius, Ru- Rubis, Rubis, Ru- Rubis, Erno Rubik. No. Uh, yeah, 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 Rubis, R U B A S, right? And you have to destroy these seven bells in seven bell towers 
to stop him from summoning an army of the dead or something like that. So there were secret rooms or invisible doors. There were, so as a character, you wore armor and you had, you shot swords, you threw swords. That was your weapon. You just shot little swords out. In each of these, in each of these towers, there were like shops that you could buy and upgrade stuff. Mm -hmm. They were in the same place every time, but they did have different things that you could buy randomly every time you went back. And there was also, there's also, a th like things called parallel zones, which were Ooh. alternate versions of these bell towers. And you got to like you had to find it, and then once you went in, it it you could find these other secret rooms, and you'd get like even better gear, better gear than you'd get from the shops. Like it was like ultimate gear. Um, and then so you had to, you had to defeat the, you had to destroy these bells in the bell towers, and then you finally get to fight Rubus in the last final battle. What was it, the Rhombus of Terror or something like that? Yeah, we like yeah, the Rhombus of Terror. Yeah, that was yeah, good. That was good stuff. So sounds it sounds amazing. So that's that one, yeah. You ready? Mm hmm James Pond three for Sega. Oh Genesis. My God. That's the Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis, Genesis that's what I meant. You ready? Hold on. You ready for it? James okay. Pond. You see, wait, before you go on. This is what I want to say about Genesis and Sega. Yeah, these, no. these, this was Electronic Arts. The, no, no, no. But, but, but that was not on Nintendo or Super oh, Nintendo. Yeah, it was. Was it? Mm -hmm. Man, it just seems like a real Genesis thing to do. Like the no, dumb. It was, it was like, like dumb. Not like that. Amiga, Nintendo Super did it. NES, Game Gear, Master System. Really? Well, Master System was supposed to come out, but it never did. Anyway, James Pond 3. Yeah. 1993. Obviously, a su successful follow up to, or James a follow up to the successful James Pond 2. From EA. And that's the thing. No, I remember, it wasn't EA. It was Electronic Arts. It was Electronic Arts. I remember back in the day, James, the James Pond games, because I think they were originally on maybe like the Commodore. Yeah, I think they were. Or something. Well, God damn it. Yeah, so you're getting another one. Uh, so <laughs> what happens is, yeah, I, I remember it back in the day, and I was always kind of thinking about it, and I'm just like, oh, James Pond. <laughs> I don't think and I had, a, I had a Super NES James and James Pond. I don't think the first couple were on there I yeah, think maybe no. just this one came okay. out there and then there was like the aquatic games do you remember that there was Vaguely, one that was like a, yeah. the aquatic games I don't even know yeah. that might have showed up in a past episode or something I'm not even sure but there, there was just like it was I can't even think about it like it's it's kind of weird because I have these feelings about remembering the game and seeing ads in like computer games magazine, electronic gaming monthly, things like that. Mm -hmm. Next gen, remember? Mm -hmm. like, like, yeah. Next generation. Yeah, next right? generation. I remember seeing all that stuff and I was just going, oh, I wish I could play that. You know, it's like, why do I wish why I could play you, James why? Pond? Yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of like that jealousy kind of thing that I yeah. never got to. Other people and I don't think I've game. ever, I don't know. I've, yeah, I never played it. Okay, so what is it? What the heck is oh, it? Oh, gosh. It's a fish, man. His enemy is Dr. Maybe. Somebody thought they were absolutely hilarious writing this. Basically is what it comes down to. I want to see the picture again. Dr. Maybe mines the moon for cheese. <laughs> right? And, and he wants to sell the cheese to fund his operations. That's his whole purpose. This little dude here, this little green dude. Yeah. Um, his name is Phineas Frog. Right? He's his little sidekick. So James and Phineas want to stop Dr. Maybe. 16 megs. Um, you can play as Phineas when you find him in each level. So you can you find Swap him. Swap out. And, and then you can you can play him, yeah. You can use what him. does he do? Hops around? Very yeah, hoppy? Gosh, man. Hop to it, Phineas? Anyway, there are communication beacons in each level that you want to break. There are gadgets. You can run, jump, and punch. Uh, the working title... You got gameplay? Can you show The working me? title was James Pond 3. Splash Gordon. <laughs> Oh man, that was great! What, what, what kind of gameplay do you the, want? To I know? sort of sort of look like. I don't look remember that, dude. <laughs> See, man, that's what I'm saying. That was Genesis, man. That was like that yeah, that's look, all of man. It. it doesn't matter. This was this is a screenshot from the Amiga version. I did look like Amiga too. But he had like gadgets. He had dynamite bomb, X-ray specs, fruit suit, spring shoes, a jetpack. What does a fruit suit do? It's, it's... Great. Here's what we're doing. Fruit James suits Pond. will protect the player from two or more enemy attacks. Listen. They also provide the ability to walk through hot liquids such as custard without taking damage. <laughs> yeah. There's something I didn't know. There's something. Here's what we're doing. Whatever. Here's what we're doing. 
you need a good pun for the for the next one in the series because I think James Pond died after this one. I'm not gonna lie. Did he die in the end? No, I think I think the series did. Well, can we do? That was done on purpose. Come on, no. that was a purposeful one. There's no such thing. Yeah, you pen don't work. I broke your pen by doing that. Keep going. Don't we uh we take that character either either James Pond or Phineas. Maybe it's all Phineas now. Maybe it's a spin-off. Phineas Frog. It's the third and last game in the James Pond series. So they continue to Phineas Frog. We'll do Phineas Frog. And it's a dungeon crawler. And what game? Oh, yours was Deadly, Deadly Towers. Towers. Now there were people that I knew. What? Because everybody had NES. Yeah. Back in the day. They had yeah, NES. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody. And you find, oh, what games do you have? Well, yeah. Oh, I have Bases Loaded. I have Contra, I have Russian Attack, I have Deadly okay. Towers. And you can kind of, it's almost like what kind of car does somebody drive? Yeah. Right? So you can tell their personality yeah, or what kind yeah. of music oh, they listen the games, to. Yeah. But it's like games. And it's like, oh, it's Deadly Towers. Only because the they didn't know guy, what it was. It's Deadly Towers. No, only because they didn't know what, because like you said, the cover art looked dope and they were like, I want to get this, mom, I want this game. Yeah, but I know. And they, and they never beat yeah, it. I know. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah that's, a, yeah. You're right. I I saw Deadly Towers and I was like, that's really cool cover. I saw gameplay and I was like, nope. That's what I decided to do. Yeah. Is to not play it. I didn't want to play it. I didn't I want know. to play it. Well, sorry. So here's the thing. Phineas Frog. How about Phineas Frog has to sh- has to say shave? Yeah, he has to shave. No, he has to save James Pond. If a frog shaves, do they like shave their warts off? Well, I would toads. assume I guess so. That would be toads. Frogs can have warted dead faces. Sure. Well, so can humans. We have it. Humans are humans and not frogs. Mm. Listen, it's getting late. You're getting you're getting you're getting ethereal on me here. You're getting existential on me. Uh, Phineas Frog has to rescue James Pond from a from a a soggy tower. His soggy tower. They're not deadly. Yeah, they're soggy. This, it's a soggy tower. They're just. It's just like it's like a, so it's like, like a gooey duck. It's like a a gooey duck. Yeah. Sure. Oh, he has to fight gooey ducks. Yeah, yeah he's got to fight. Well, no, gooey. I mean like the tower is gonna be like one big gooey duck. But then we call it the gooey duck, not a soggy tower. Well, that's what they call it. They don't know what it is. Who's they? <laughs> the frog. <laughs> Phineas. Well, what the heck is James Pond anyway? Is he like a? You said it was a fish. He's known as the underwater agent. Uh, I don't care. He's getting he's getting rescued by Phineas. So what do we call Hold on. Soggy I need, ta- I need to know what he is. What is James Pond? He looks like a prawn or something like that. What is that? If we call... It's a fish. That's a fish. That's a goldfish. No. That's a fish. No. No, he's a fish. Mm. No, I don't think he is. How come it doesn't say it in there? It just says it platform video game... Spawned three sequels and one spinoff game. Three sequels? You sure it's not two? Uh, it's two sequel. It's two spinoffs now. The game spinoff of James. What was a spinoff? You two a spill. What was a spinoff? Uh, license to bubble. Oh my god. Um, James Pond. All right. Mixed. Now, okay. Aquatic games. Here we go. Well, James no, I Pond need, I... two. Codename Robocod. James Pond oh, three Operation Starfish technically is the is the subtitle. Oh, well, come there on. There's also I, a spinoff sports theme game, the Aquatic Games, and a cameo in Rolo that, Rolo to the Rescue. Yeah. Oh, he returned in Death James Pond in the Deathly Shallows. Okay. Um, for mobile. All right. Well, look. Can we can can we finish this off, please? I just want to be done with this now. Well, they started a Kickstarter. Uh. In September 2013, they created a Kickstarter for a new game in the series, James Pond. Pond is back, featuring the game's that's original designer, dumb, Chris Sorrell. But that's a dumb name. Kickstarter was canceled. Of course it was. As the funding target looked unlikely to be achieved. Great. Nobody cared about James Pond. But I feel Pond. like when they made James Pond, they were like, <laughs> like if yeah. Pond's going to think this is so funny. Yeah. And then nice and like, <laughs> Of course, man. It's so ridiculous. So I got up in the middle of the night the other night. Get a drink of water. Yeah. And I go and I hit my foreleg. Your shin. On the bed. Yeah. That post. And it hurt really bad. Yeah. What do you think of the term foreleg? 
You didn't bat an eye at it. Did you know what I meant? I said I I I know, but did you know what I meant by four leg? Well, obviously I did. Have you ever heard of the term four leg before? Probably from you. Just asking. You're always saying such weird things to me. Just asking. But it makes sense of my four I'm, leg. I'm done with James Pond. I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm calling it. I'm throwing it in. I'm done. But you never finished. I quit. I'm done. All right. You got to think of something quick. Phineas, I was going to call it just Soggy Towers. That's it. Soggy Towers. Featuring you need to make like a pun. Soggy Towers featuring Phineas Frog. No, you need to that's make a pun. It's got to be a pun. Yeah. Soggy Towers, that's not punny. Nope. Soggy Towers. Like a pun, you need a pun at the end of it because he, these games are so bad that they have he, stupid puns. He... Think of like a James Bond movie. Croak, croak to live. Croak to live. <laughs> what, what? What is the movie that you're that you're you lampooning? Only, you only you only croak once. Okay. Soggy towers. You only croak once. There you go. I can't. Like that's it. It's not gonna fit on here. But was there a movie you only die once? Yeah. There was. You sure? Or is it die twice? <laughs> Oh, you may make me look these up. Am I going to have to look this up? I think, uh, yeah. It's, uh, just put James Bond titles. Well, I'm looking up James Bond. No, James Bond titles. Cr- Chris, I'm You're making me it, write. Man. I wrote title. I wrote soggy title. <laughs> All right, I wrote soggy title. Thanks. I'm so tired. Can we just... Soggy Towers... You only live twice. Okay, you only croak twice. Okay. Oh, that's you only have two lives in the game. This is a shit. This is this this All game right. is. That's it, and then you're done because it's it's we didn't even it, the game wasn't even finished. You only how do you spell croak? It says oh, there are five a. levels on the box. There are really only like three, but you're never gonna get past that third one. So they didn't bother putting in four and five. Yeah. C R O A K. Yeah, man. Croak. What do you think it is? C-R-O-K-E? I don't know, man. No, I know. I didn't know. I know it's not that. It's All just... right. We're good. All right, Kenny. Um... Success. Thank you, wood paneling. Thank you, wood paneling. <laughs> He's rubbing the wood paneling. Uh, the Connecticut hedge trimmer incident. I like it. It was a good one. Wait, this is called what? Froggy Bottom? Ken, this episode was just... Oh, Froggy Bottom. Nah. Soggy Towers. I don't towers. even know what I just... You only croak twice. I think Froggy Bottom is pretty good. Froggy Bottom is actually pretty cool. Froggy Bottom, you only croak twice? I think we're going to do... I think we're going to go back. I don't know where it came from. It just shot out of my mouth. Like most of the things that come out of your mouth. Froggy Bottom. You only croak twice. Okay, so here, here's the deal. Yeah, we have that. What else What else we were looking at here? I don't even know. We've been we going. Got. This is what longer. Did, just, just what did we get on the challenge of the what? The what are the GoBots? It wasn't. It was the new GoBots. Just that's it? Yeah. I hate everything. I hate everything. The movie's okay. I hate everything else. The movie? You like the movie? I like the movie. I hate everything else. Because to me, the movie's a dark comedy, even though you think it's not. I think it's a dark comedy, no, it's and it's hilarious to me. Dude, Blue Skies is. He's chasing in the background. You have. Blue Listen. Skies for Lieutenant O'Hara. <laughs> it just makes it. It's like. Listen, go back to the movie. You have you have Jack and Do- what was his name Dorsey? Diane. Jack and Diane. <laughs> about Ruta and Dan. No, so you have them talking about Carl, and yeah, in the no. background he's chasing a neighbor with the thing over his head and the cord just waving as he's like, like. I think there's something wrong with him. The cord snaps back and <laughs> he flies back and the neighbor gets away and they're like. He doesn't even have a cat. And he's in the background. Like, dude, it's hilarious. You got a little red on you. There's a little red on you. You know, he's got a little... Come on, I man. Like it. it's, it's a good movie. It's good. I like it. It's their cousins. <laughs> All right, so... And now for hour two of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone. All right. All right, that's it. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, get to us on socials? Yeah, no. Just demand. See ya. Oh, we're demanding still. Yes, yeah. always demanding. Just demand. <laughs> it's just us, man. <laughs> Listen, I turn on, I turn on my social. I turn on the media. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You put the media on your and face. The only thing I have, I have, I have voicemails, right? 
not on the media, but I have it on my phone, and I can It's just nothing but Chris demanding to be on the show. And I say, Chris, you're already, you're already on the show. Man. I just want to make sure and I'm just coming like, in. You know, I just want to make sure I'm working that day. He's like, I demand to be on the next episode. And I said, yeah. it's fine, man. <laughs> fine, you can. I say, it's fine. I hear your eye roll through the phone. Yep. Even though, even though it's a message, I still hear it. I said, you're gonna be there, man. Yeah. Well, look, man, I just want to make sure, you know. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um, I'm loving these new sheets you made. They were wonderful for us. I'm glad. I'm glad, you know, too. I'm glad. Okay. I'm happy. All right. I'm finishing it off strong. All right. <laughs> Good night, everybody.